Hey guys, my name is Anthony Fontana. I'm here with EA Tax Resolutions, and today I'm going to tell you everything you got to know about tax extensions. All right, so tax extensions, everything we have to know. Number one is this is an extension to file, not an extension to pay. I can't tell you how many times I have clients that come into my office and that tell me they filed an extension because they couldn't pay by April 15th. This is 100% incorrect. You have to pay by April 15th, but you can file later if you file this extension. This extension is due by April 15th though, and that leads me to my number two point here is it gives you a six month extension to file your tax returns. Again, not to pay. So you have to file your tax extension by April 15th if you're an individual, and then it leaves you six months until October 15th to file your tax return. And if you're an S Corp or partnership, you have to file this extension by March 15th, and it gives you then six months to file your S Corp or partnership return by September 15th, okay? Number three I have that you have to know is that there are free resources out there to file these extensions. Um, the IRS has a list of various links on their website to file your individual extension, uh, not for the partnership or for the business. Nonetheless, you can file the extension for your individuals for free electronically uh, through the IRS website. And now if you want to file your business extension for free, you can still, but you just have to paper file. That means you just got to mail it in. Uh, no big deal. I will include links in the description below on the IRS's website uh, for the free e-file for the individual and for the 7004 for the business uh, to paper file for free. Number four I have, you can make a payment with the extension. So again, this is an extension to file, not to pay. So you can pay when you file the extension, again, by April 15th, if you're an individual, or March 15th, if you're an S Corp or partnership, um, that's one way to pay. If you don't wanna pay with the extension, I do have various other methods of how to pay the IRS in a previous video, which again, I will include a link in the description below. Last but not least, this tax extension can potentially avoid the late file penalty. So again, if you don't file by April 15th as an individual, but you do file by October 15th, you can avoid that one penalty um, out of the long list of penalties the IRS has. That is one that we can avoid by filing the tax extension. Uh, the reason I think the whole tax extension got set up is because you know the IRS doesn't give you too much time to file your return, right? They only give you about four months as an individual or three months if you're an S-Corp or partnership to file your return. Um, and it may take you longer to gather your documents, file your financial statements, um, get everything in order. And you know to make sure that you have an accurate return, they do allow the tax extension to make sure you, know, you can review and make sure that you have everything in line. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, Please share uh, our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button. Thank you so much, guys.